Hey friends, I want to share with you again today from the letter of Jude. The book of Jude, his epistle, his letter to the church, warning them to contend for the faith because men have secretly snuck in among them who twist the grace of God and twist it, perverting it is a, an excuse for licentiousness and immorality. He says, woe to them, verse 11. They've taken the way of Cain. They've rushed for profit into Balaam's heir. They've been destroyed in Korah's rebellion, right? Just like those who fell under judgment in the Old Testament. He says, woe to them. He says, verses 12 through 13, these men are blemishes at your love feasts. Uh, another word for, you know, the gatherings where they uh, enjoyed a meal and celebrated the Lord's Supper. These men are blemishes at your love feasts eating with you without the slightest qualm, shepherds who feed only themselves. I don't care for the sheep. They're clouds without rain, blown along by the wind, autumn trees without fruit and uprooted, twice dead. They're wild waves of the sea foaming up their shame, wandering stars for whom blackest darkness has been reserved forever. It's this theme of, whoa, whoa, God's judgment is upon them. You know, here and now, right, we, you know, God in his mercy and grace is slow to anger, abounding in love. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, Psalm 103. But the day will come when he'll settle accounts. And for those who've not experienced, come to him for his mercy and grace and experienced his forgiveness for their sin, but who persist in their rebellion against him and refuse God's, God's, um, uh, uh, intervention in our behalf, his substitutionary sacrifice, Jesus, who who has reconciled to God. For those who've refused God's sole provision of grace, woe, woe to them, because judgment is coming. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God for those who reject him, but for those who know him, love him, repent of their sin, there's eternal hope, eternal hope and eternal life. So run, flee, you know, from false teaching and hold tightly to the truth of the word of God. Think about these things from Jude 11, 12, and 13.